Hi there. Uh, today we are going to see how I do my fuses and FET. So, let me get this guy set up where you can see it. How's that? That's pretty good. Alrighty. So, the way I do it is I take the fuses, mush them together, and sort of bend the legs so that they so that they overlap like this. So it ends up looking like like that. They kind of crisscross. And I put them in my little thing here. Try to make them line up sort of square. Alright, so you got them like that. And then I take this guy and I bend the two outside legs up. And I will put a part number or something in the description. So ends up looking like this. Then I clip mm, I don't know, a little more than half. So it looks like that. And then I stick it in there like that. Let's see. So it ends up looking kind of like this. So, yeah, that's what it looks like before I solder it. Like that. And we take the solder, do all this jazz. And so I know I've said it before in the last video, and I'll probably put it in the description somewhere. A lot of people do this differently than me. And if you're going to use a... a um, a PCB or something, that's awesome. Just whenever I started doing this, I didn't, and I don't. Uh, if I would have started using that at the beginning, then I'd probably still be using it, but I didn't, and I haven't yet, so like that. And then you want to clip off, so see how there's, there's, fuse leg coming off so clip off the excess anything you don't need there we go so this is what it looks like and then from there get me a red wire and so right now this is the fused power going into the FET so then I'll take a wire and mine are make them about that long or so. Always want it to be a little longer than you need, than not long enough. And strip the insulation off like that. And then, so this is coming. This is going to go to the positive side of the battery sled. So this is what feeds the fuse. Is fuses. So there you go, aren't you? There we go. Okay. So that's what it looks like. And so once again, let's see. Yeah. got it good. So yeah, it looks like that. Then you're gonna clip off the excess. So right there. So there you go. 
Do, 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 do. Can you turn that down, baby? I'm doing a video. Thank you. Okay, what am I, yeah, there we go. All right, and so now, the way I do it, I lay the fuses right under the button. So, I need to bring power to the button. So how I do that is I just put a wire coming from there. It's um sometimes let's see. So yeah there we go. So that's how mine looks right there. And then okay. Then we're just gonna solder that. That's done. So looks like that. And then once again, clip off the excess. So right there. So once I've done all that, I get my liquid electrical tape and cover up almost everything. The only thing I don't cover up is where the negative is going to go, the ground is going to go, because I do a daisy chain kind of thing from the 510, because I got sick of trying to connect four or five wires to the negative terminal of the battery sled. It was just a big pain in my ass. So once we get this covered up. And I'm pretty liberal with it. You know, and I... Trying to make sure that it doesn't get exposed to... You know, whatever, any conflicting... Or opposing... Um, whatever, electricity. But... You never know. And I cover the where this sits I cover with tape too so better to be safer than sorry so that looks pretty good so here's what mine looks like like that need a little bit more so yeah after this dries I am going to do the button and hopefully this will make sense what it is I'm doing here. Cool. I feel pretty good about that. So, there you go. That is uh, how I do my Fetson fuses. Cheers.